Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to Ehe, the reason you see me. It's your girl, Reality TV, and this is Reality. And I got some news that you can use. Let's talk about Cam Newton. Now, today, I got this video sent to me, and he has this 7 on 7, which is an organization that he does for the young youth um, football. And outside of that, they also do educational things, which I think, I don't want to take away from that. You know what I'm saying? Because that is a positive thing, even though this is something negative, because people do like controversy and they do like to put out the negative so i do want to highlight that he does do something positive this is something positive but um let me let y'all see this video hear this video real quick now the clip is only 18 seconds that's all we got y'all 18 seconds that's it so um make sure y'all get in the comments and let me know what y'all think about this little 18 seconds because they look like they jumping my boy now they look like they jumping him and he does have a baby on the way congratulations to you and jazz cam and um i did see that he has to um make a statement on his podcast so um if y'all want to hear that you know you know go check that out because he got to make a statement because it's dealing with the youth so he got to make a statement about it so um just let me know what y'all think about it because it's not we don't have a lot on it right as of right now but just get in the comments and let me know what y'all think about it make sure y'all like follow and subscribe to boss talk 101 and prime time okay this this next subject is christian and rock i saw this yesterday in my news that she has a bench warrant out for her arrest. She violated her four year probation. And it's not only for James Wright. Y'all know what happened with that situation. She, I think she bust his lip and chipped his tooth and they really weren't saying much, but she got on there and said, now she said she didn't do it. Now they have videos, evidence of her doing it. So she has a bench warrant, not only for him, but whoa, Vicky too. Y'all remember her on baddies? She sent her goons to go get that little girl like that. She was wrong for that. She was saying, thank you, Jesus, and the Lord love you. Y'all remember that? Y'all remember that? She shouldn't have did that girl like that. But Christian, stop being a bully, and please get yourself together for your child's sake. And stop running after that nigga. That's all I want to say. And something else that I seen in the headlines was uh, people having mixed emotions, but more so... Um, attacking Tiffany Haddish about her going to visit and seeing what's going on over there. And she said that she only wants to go see what's going on for herself. And I feel like, um, I wouldn't do it because it's like they over there killing babies and everybody they wouldn't give, they don't give a damn about nobody right now. I wouldn't go over there. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't go over there and do it. But I mean, some people, she got the money to do it. I guess she want to go see it. Maybe she bored. I don't know. Or maybe she just want to go see it. But um, tell me what y'all think about that as well. Tell me if you would go. And tell me what you think. Do you think she cloud chasing? Do you think that she really went? Because we hadn't seen no videos or no pictures. I don't know. She said no men went with her. She went by herself. So we don't know. But she did get emotional. And she did fly first class too. You know, she, she was in first class, eating good, drinking good. But... um. I know that she been getting a lot of backlash, you know, and I know in our community, once we counsel somebody, we we really be on the head. But um, I hate that we do attack our black women or black men. I feel like we should do more uplifting. And if somebody's trying to do something positive, we should definitely stand behind our culture because we don't do enough of that. You know, and I feel like other races do. But us alone, we do not stick together. And we definitely need to do that more. Stop killing each other, brothers. Sisters, stop hating each other. Love each other. Okay? Okay, I've been paying attention on, um, you know, I love the city girls. I'm a city girl. <laughs> definitely a city girl. Definitely a city girl. But, um... I haven't, you know, I haven't seen JT or Miami, you know, together. 
I've been seeing Miami with uh, Ari, which is Moneybag Yo's baby mother. Well, I can't say baby mother because she had a miscarriage. But his wife, because I think they're married and they've been married for two and a half years, something like that. But um, they've been real, real tight. And I do like that Ari been holding her down since um, her man P. Diddy, her sugar daddy, whatever. Um, since he's been in, you know, a lot of trouble. And I see that she's kind of, you know, distant herself from him because I know that, you know, she got to protect her brand. And I definitely understand that. Now, I do know that they do have conflict in schedules. I do know that because a lot of the times JT haven't been at uh, my Young Miami's birthday party. So I don't know. Tell me what y'all think. Cause I love them together. I don't want them to break up. I don't want them. I want them to stay together. Cause they are together. They are the best. Separate. It's it's not the same. I do love sideways and no bars though. <laughs> and yams Miami. But um, tell me what y'all think. And do y'all think they should stay together or do solo? This is reality TV. Make sure y'all go like, follow, and subscribe to Boss Talk One on One and Prime Time. And have a good day. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E Heat, a reason you see.